<laughs> Nod your head. Well, we finally caught up with the uh, with the uh, raft uh, boat, or they caught up with me. I caught up with them and passed them. They came back and caught up with me. So anyway, they're gonna get some things done here and. do their laundry and get some things done here and we'll uh, exchange some stories. Well, the wind uh, the wind kind of got the best of us. So we are uh, so we are towing uh, we are towing Faith in her her uh, boat as you can see it's a little rough out here we're trying to get down to a little pass um, there's an old fort down here and I'm gonna try and get her up over here where she can just kind of uh, anchor out and get off the lee side here where it won't be so rough or so the little uh, 10 horse engine won't even move the raft it just keeps us set and stable so so anyway the adventure continues well we are going up to the get close to the port or the fort, right up here is a pod of dolphins. And what I what I found is that there's a dolphin tour company here. And I was talking to the lady that gives these uh, the uh, dolphin uh, tours. And they are bottle bottlenose dolphins. And anytime you see them in a pod, and I think there's there's a pod of about five out here. It's usually all females. Uh, the males usually run kind of singly by themselves. And Basically, the females have a line down their belly like this with two little dots on either side where the males have a line with a dot just down below. So that's how you tell the difference if you can ever get them to, you know, be able to roll over where you would actually see that. Um, but that's how you tell them the males from the females. And the males are always a little bit bigger, um, 80 pounds or so. I don't know. Some, I think she even said sometimes 100 pounds uh, larger. But there was quite a little pot of them out here. There's about five of them, but now they will haven't surfaced. They're working this shallow uh, little reef here. Probably, uh, I don't know, maybe, you know, looking for bait fish to eat. So anyway, and we are still pulling the, uh, we're still pulling the boat back here. And we're gonna try and pull them up here, a little ways up here to the sand. Um, I'll try and pull it in. It's probably not going to be very focused, but anyway, there's a little bay up in here, and that's where we're going to go. So, oh, there they there they surfaced again. I'm trying to catch up to them. I think there's almost six of them up there. I can see the dorsal fins. Um, I'll try and catch up with them and see if I can get a little better shot for you. Well, we got a little. Uh, about a little 15 mile crossing over here in the Gulf. And uh, I've got the wind behind me and I'm riding the waves, but it is one rough son of a pitch out here today. Um, but I just, you know, I spent three days at the other place and I wanted to get going. And I'm just, so I'm just kind of riding up on the waves and, and that, but uh, you can see the horizon over here. That's the, that's the entrance to the inner coastal and then I can run down and uh, be in Gulf Shores. but. Um, I've got another at least probably 10 miles before I can get around to where this is going to kind of settle down on me. So, you know, we got probably, um, I don't know, three to fives out here maybe, I guess you might call it. But it's really uh, uh, extremely rough, extremely bouncing around. And uh, so we're going to keep jogging along. We can't really kick up the speed because it just dives, nose dives into the, into the waves, into the water. And no, uh, it gets everything wet, so. All right, shanty boat, peace out. Well, they must be a little bit curious because they're actually heading directly towards me right now. Um, so I don't know if they're gonna come up here closer to the boat, but there is about five or six of them all in a, all in a little pod out here. Uh, they disappeared, uh, they haven't come back up here. I don't know where they're where they're uh, where they have gone to so we'll keep an eye open hopefully they'll pop up here where you can get a, a view of them I'm sure I'll get some great footage of, of the dolphins as they get going 
uh, different places and whatnot, but I thought maybe I would get a chance to, to get a good close-up here of them uh, surfacing or whatnot. But as you can see, there's a little, little reef here, and like I said, they may have been cruising there looking for some bait fish. But they've completely disappeared. It's funny because when you pull the camera out, they seem to just like when you're hunting deer, when you've got the gun, they're not around, that type of thing. Uh, but they have. They've completely disappeared. So I guess that's it. I, uh, I'll uh, wait for them to pop. There, there they are. There they are. There's one. Yeah, there's probably seven of them out there. And they're, they're kind of working this. Uh, you can barely see them, but they're working this, this little thing here. Now they're heading directly towards me. And they're just rolling around on the surface, so I'm going to try and get a, a, you know, a view of them. You can see them pretty good right now. I got the engine turned. They're actually they're coming directly towards me. They're right here. They're coming right over to the boat. And these should be a, a pod of females. Yep, there they are. Yep, there they are. Very close. Getting to Michael. I don't know where they went now, but they were, they were uh, kicking around here pretty good. I'm sure they're curious coming over and seeing what the boat's all about. I threw out some bread earlier. I don't know if they'll eat bread or not, but there's some bread floating around. So they have disappeared again. A little bit rough out here in this little sound. Um, I don't see them in the backside there, so they must be still somewhere over here. We're about ready to make our turn, kind of go up in here. 